Hello everyone, my name is Jesse, and welcome to a very long overdue video. Um, so, as you can see here, based off the video, and probably the thumbnail, we have a 3D printed, custom made Leonidas. Uh, this comes from the same creator who created the Ultimate Slash Infinity Dragonoid 3D model. I'll leave a link to the file down below in the description if you'd like to check it out, but shout out to the creator. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, I got this printed. Um, honestly, it took me a long time to print this because I wanted to find someone or a company that could print it at a very fine and high quality, and thankfully I did. Um, so I want to go over the different parts of this because they are pretty specific. Uh, this is the manual version. There is no magnets in this, uh, which I kind of like because I don't know, it's a little bit easier on me, but I want to go over each part because the detail on these is insane. So before we even do anything, I just want to showcase this off. So here's like the base part, kind of like the top. Um, as you can see here, just all these little details, it's, it's pretty insane. Really like this part. Uh, it does need some sanding, I think. I'm going to run over it with, this, with a little bit of like sandpaper just to make it a little bit cleaner, like right here and stuff. There's definitely some sharp edges along here I can fix up a little bit. But overall, just oh, I'm so impressed with this. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Uh, so there's that. Here's an arm. Uh, the arms are pretty impressive just with the hands here. Like They look like Infinity Dragonoid hands, like the actual toy, which is crazy. Um, but as you can see here, I got all the holes. So all the holes look really good compared to my last 3D print. Uh, so the holes there, and then this is a spot for wings. The other hand is exactly the same. Uh, yeah. And then here we have, so I believe this is the horn. Uh, the horn might need a little bit of sanding too right there. But not too bad. This one's going to be really hard to see. This is the horn, I believe. This is the tail, I think. Again, oh, that looks insane. Looks so good. Here's the head. Head looks good. Uh, there is a surprising like lack of location for eyes, which is interesting. Not sure I'm going to paint that in. But uh, yeah, there you go. Looking good. Here are, I believe these are the wings. So yeah, these are wings. And they might need a little bit of sanding too. Um, this is a like neck piece for the head. Uh, not nothing, nothing too special there, but it is an important part. And then lastly, we have the feet. So yeah, uh, this video is essentially just going to be like a step-by-step -step guide on how I plan on making this. Uh, so to start, I'm gonna kind of go over my plan, and then we're gonna jump into it. So my plan now is I'm gonna go and sand this. There are some pieces on here that are a bit sharp or just need to be touched up. Um, nothing too crazy, and it's honestly probably a step you can pass up on, but there's just certain parts in this that I'd like to be a bit less like sharp and rough that might help put the Bakugan together. And so that's just gonna be like completely like testing, spot looking, and just trying to figure out what I need to do. Secondly, I believe I'm gonna actually spray paint this black first, because what I learned from my last paint was that sometimes when trying to paint on these details, the tiny, tiny, tiny lines of the 3D print would kind of just soak up the paint and they would make it run really bad. So I'm hoping that by putting a small layer of black paint over this, that it will keep that from happening and I can paint onto that paint layer instead. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense. It should do a pretty decent job as long as I use a flat spray paint. Um, and then from there, I'm going to let that dry, let it dry really good, and then I'm going to start assembling it. And thankfully, I only need pins for this. And so I have my collection of pins here, uh, as you can see. I think this is enough. If not, we may have to salvage a couple more Bakugan, but I've got pins, springs that I don't really think I need. Uh, screws and then like some magnet deploying stuff which I'm also not going to use. The main thing is these pins here. Uh, we have plenty of pins and they should do the job. These were all salvaged from old Bakugan. Huge tip if you can't get these out. 
uh, take some pliers, break off the area where the uh, pin is and dump it in some lacquer thinner or like paint thinner and just let it sit for like an hour, come back, that plastic will have completely melted off and you can just pretty much clean it off the, off the pin and just take it. That's what I did for a couple of these. But that is the plan. So at this moment in time, I'm going to sand, touch up and paint these and I will be back. So for you guys, it's just gonna be a clip uh, but for me, it's probably going to be a few hours to a couple days. So I'll see you then. All right, so now everything has been sanded and spray painted a flat black. So you can definitely tell a difference on some of these. It's pretty subtle. Um, but it is enough, I think, that it's going to make it look a little bit better. I think things are slightly still wet in some places. Um, it might just be rubbing off, which is fine. I mean, the whole thing's black anyways. I'm just hoping that this will kind of create a barrier so then when I try and paint these pieces, um, it will go a bit smoother. But yeah, uh, essentially all I'm gonna do now is start painting pieces purple uh, to get that darkest Leonidas color that I want from the, uh, the game. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into that. All right, this may come as a sudden transition because I got carried away again, but uh, he's done. <laughs> he's, he is completed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I need to first showcase him. Uh, he looks pretty good. I mean, obviously he's a 3D printed Bakugan, so there are some things that are never going to be perfect. But I mean, I've got Leonidas from the game in Darkest, just how I played it in my Let's Play. By the way, there's an entire playlist I'll leave in the description of this video if you'd like to watch me play the entire Battle Brawlers game. Uh... But yeah, I guess I need to talk about the process. So I individually painted all the parts before assembling. So I took purple paint and just went along all the lines, copying like different images I saw online. And then I actually took a pink paint and mixed it with some of the same purple to get the like pinkish magenta lines you see there. Um, here's a look at the bottom and then there's the tail. And there weren't like I didn't actually have like specific parts to like copy from like for the bottom pieces so I kind of just played it by the actual design of Leonidas in the game like the monster design uh, and then yeah assembly wasn't too bad I'll talk through some stuff so uh, first off you don't want to put the like headpiece to the body piece until you've got these wings mounted on so what I did was first step is I took a pin which I got from some old Bakugan put the horn in then I went and put the tail in with another pin. Then you wanna take these top pieces of wing, attach them to the arms with a screw. So there's screws right there, pop them in. Then you want to go underneath. You're gonna slide the arm into a hole, which is right here in the neck. So you're gonna pin that, which was kind of difficult. It took me a little bit of pressure. I had to push in and really get it. But once I got it, it was, it was chill. Uh, so put both arms in. Then what you're gonna wanna do is put in the like body, so screw in the body to the rest of the top part, and then you'll get that, and you'll just need to put the feet in. The feet were the most challenging for me, just trying to get pins in there was, for some reason, difficult. And yeah, he closes for the most part. Uh, I'll show you an issue, so the head can go in, tail goes in, put the head in like that, and then everything right here locks in easy. The feet are my problem, so the feet don't actually fit right they need to be sanded right there so if you're having issues maybe sand yours i opted to just leave it as is because it doesn't really bother me and he's going to be left displayed anyways um but i think the coolest thing about this bakugan is the wings just pop up <laughs> i don't know how that was designed but i really like that they just yeah kind of reminds me of like maybe silent naga how his wings kind of do that yeah Horn goes in and out like that, tail goes in and out like that, and boom. The only issue I actually have is this pin right here inside there. I don't know if you can see it. The hole in that's kind of loose, so my head's really floppy. Um, I don't know a great way to do that. I don't know if maybe glue and just glue it together would be good or leave it as is. Um, because he is a little floppy, but it's not the end of the world. It's just like kind of annoying, but that wasn't the pen's fault. It was just the print. Um, but yeah, I'll do another spin for you guys. Uh, the paint job could be a little bit better. 
Uh, I was really excited and like, I just don't have the right brushes and like material to do like a perfect supreme paint job, but it is a good overall. Uh, one thing you can do, you can kind of see here is if you accidentally fill in these black lines like close here, you can just take like a, like a flathead screwdriver and actually scrape the paint out. It seems like it's gonna hurt the Bakugan, but I did it for the entire thing and it made it look 10 times better. Like you can see there's some scuffs kind of right there where I've just like scraped paint out of that line because it fills in. Um, but yeah, also painted the eye yellow here, uh, just like that. So I don't know, overall, I'm really happy with it. Just to be holding a Leonidas in my hands and be like, yeah, I got this Bakugan now. It is, so, it feels so good. Like I think as a, like as a Bakugan collector, this is a must have in my collection. And so I don't know, I'm looking forward to see if they make and Omega Leonidas. I think that'd be really cool to have the evolution, um, but I will definitely need more spare Bakugan for parts if I'm gonna go that route, because this one surprisingly took a lot of like smaller to medium sized pins and only two large ones on the feet, which honestly could have been smaller to begin with. Um, yeah, overall it was pretty easy. Uh, another great tip is if you have pins and like broken Bakugan and you can't get them out by like shoving them out with something, I just threw mine in paint thinner for like an hour or so and the plastic melted off and I was able to just get the pins from that. Uh, so really good idea if you're struggling to get those pins out. But yeah, this is Leonidas. Very excited to have him. I actually do, I'll put Leonidas here and then I'll pull up like a, an image of him in the, in the show for you just to compare. Um, yeah, but uh, again, the 3D print file link will be in the description of this video, so you can go and print one of these for yourself. Uh, the print file has actually been out for quite a while. I've just now gotten around to it uh, because I needed to find a printer that was a good quality for him uh, because my last 3D printed Bakugan was a bit meh. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, drop a comment, and of course, subscribe for more awesome content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.